Hello, welcome back YouTube Axis and Eyes Brethren to Turret 2 for this second classic Axis and Allies classic uh, edition game variant version between No Limit this time as the Allies and myself Captain Jack as the Axis. Um, hopefully you guys have already seen No Limits uh, laugh fest at me. I hope you had a good time. And enjoyed himself with that uh, but anyway <clears throat> uh, explaining the recap of our last game and then doing Russia's first video first turn so this will be Germany's first turn of this game for production they'll be producing three tanks and five infantry so three tanks and five infantry spending 30 of their 32 IPC so they'll have two to roll over for next turn all right so for combat movements this round We've got one battleship and one fighter. One battleship from the Mediterranean going um, after this submarine, this UK submarine uh, in the eastern Mediterranean, along with this fighter that's coming down from the Ukraine. That fighter moved two spaces, so it'll have two spaces left in its fuel gauge. All right. Also... The sub that was in the off the coast of France is going to move into the Western Mediterranean and go up against that battleship, that UK battleship that's there. And the fighter from France will be coming in there as well. That fighter will have three movements left in its fuel gauge because it only moved one space. All right. The bomber from Germany is going to move one, two, three spaces and go try to take out that transport. I know that's a little bit of a gamble because that transport can defend, but I want to take it out. So that bomber is going to move three spaces to take on that transport and have three spaces left in its fuel gauge. And lastly, we've got a fighter from Norway, a fighter from uh, Germany moving two, fighter from Norway moving one space, a fighter from Germany moving two spaces. And the Fighter from Poland moving two spaces into the sea zone off the coast of the UK, along with the submarine and transport that uh, was in the Baltic Sea, is going to move into uh, <clears throat> off the coast of the UK and take on that battleship of the UK's, the transport, the transport of the Soviets, and the submarine of the Soviet Union. So. So that's what we've got. Basically all pretty much naval battles to begin with, trying to take out the UK naval units. So for the first battle, we'll go ahead and do the one down here in the Eastern Mediterranean. We've got one battleship attacking at a four, one fighter attacking at a three, going up against one sub defending at a two. So, <clears throat> What I'll do is roll first for the battleship. So here's the battleship roll looking for a hit of four or less. And it was a six, so it missed. So now the fighter will roll. The fighter is looking for a hit of three or less. And it was a three. So the sub has been hit. The UK sub has been hit, but it does get to fire back. Let's see what it does. It's got to hit it two or less. And it rolled a six. So the UK sub has been destroyed. So it is out of here. All right, next up, we've got in the Western Mediterranean, we've got the fighter and sub going up against the battleship here. So, sub will have the fighter roll first. I'm trying to roll at a three or less. Take on that battleship, which cannot take any hits. And it was a six. All right, so the sub will now fire. It gets the first strike. So it'll fire. It needs two or less. Oops. And it was a two. It was a two. So the battleship has been destroyed. I don't think that battleship gets to fire back since the sub hit. With the first strike, that, that the battleship doesn't get to fire back. All right, so moving on. The bomber in the transport here off the coast of Canada. Got one bomber 
trying to hit it four or less, and the transport trying to hit it one. I can roll both of those at the same time. The white die will be the transport, the red die will be the bomber. And they both hit. So the bomber uh, was taken out. The transport was taken out, but so was the bomber. So that was a, that was a uh, uh, that was a risk I took, and it didn't pay off. But uh, at least the transport did get destroyed. If it had not gotten destroyed, I'd really be crying in my beer. Okay, no limit. I hope you're thrilled with that. You finally shot down a bomber. Okay, so for the last battle in the North Atlantic, we've got three fighters at three or less and a first strike sub. So I'm going to roll for the sub first. We'll roll for the sub first, looking for two or less, two or one for the German sub. And it was a four. So now the three fighters will roll, looking for three or less. And there was only one three and two fives. So only one hit. Only one hit. So I'm sure No Lemon will lose his Russian transport. And so the transport, the UK transport, the Russian transport, and we'll get the fire back first with ones. They need ones to hit. Four and a six. Four and a six. So they were both misses. Now the Russian sub will fire back. Looking for two or less, two or one. That's what No Limit's looking for. And it was a three. And the battleship firing at four or less was a one. So too bad you didn't hit with the sub or transport on that one, but the battleship will take out the German submarine. So the German sub is gone. Oh, I'm sorry. No, let me take out the transport. Transport, not the sub. All right, so what we've got left is three German fighters. Three German fighters at three or less. Looking for hopefully three hits this time. My goodness. And there were no hits. <laughs> Four, six, and a six. So that's how the dice rolls, guys. All right, now we've got, coming back, we've got a transport. British transport looking to hit at a one. And it hit. So no limits, you're getting a little bit of reverse luck here this time. So the, I'll lose the German sub. But we're going to have to keep this going. So the battleship will also now fire. Well, excuse me, the sub. The Russian sub will now fire. Looking at a hit of two or less. And this time it was a four. And the battleship will fire. Looking for a hit of four or less. And it was a three, so it hit as well. So I lose a fighter in that battle. This is proven costly. All right, so these two fighters are bound to hit this time. All right, we're gonna have to keep going here. All right, so here's the fighters looking to hit it three or less. All right, both of them hit this time, a two and a three, a two and a three. So the UK will lose the transport and that Russian sub will be gone. The battleship does get the fire back at four or less. So here's that roll. And it was a three, it was a three. So I lose another fighter. Another fighter is lost in this battle. So we're just going to keep rolling. <laughs> so the red die will be for the fighter, the white die will be for the battleship. So we got one German fighter going up against the British battleship. And they both hit a one and a three. One and a three. So very costly battle for me right there. Very costly. The British uses, loses all their shipping. 
or uses, uses loses their entire fleet. But I lost a bomber and three fighters in this battle, in these battles. So that was a uh, major, major blow. So that'll do it for combat movements. I'll be right back with non-combat movements. So for non-combat movements, the transport in the Mediterranean is going to pick up one tank in Italy and move it to Libya. So there's two tanks now in Libya, along with an infantry. We've got the two infantry in uh, Italy are also going to move into Poland or Eastern Europe. No, I'm sorry. They're going to go. Let me take that back. One is going to go into France and the other one. The other one is going to go into Eastern Europe. All right. The three infantry in Eastern Europe are going to go into the Ukraine along with the tank that was in Eastern Europe. Two tanks in Germany are going to move two spaces into Eastern Europe as well. All right. The four infantry in Germany. One is going to move to France. And the other three are going to move to Poland. fighter, the one fighter I've got left that moved one space from France down into the Mediterranean is going to move to Germany. It's going to land in Germany. Okay, so that'll do it. Let me chip all this out and I'll come back and do the recap. No limit, I have changed my mind. The uh, tanks that were in that I all moved to Ukraine all of those are going to be back into Eastern Europe. So they came, they came from Germany and from Eastern Europe. So they're going to, the ones that were in Eastern Europe are going to stay. The ones that were in Germany are going to, uh, are going to just move to Eastern Europe, not to the Ukraine. So I apologize for that. The everything that was in the Ukraine um, is going to stay except for one infantry. It's going to move except for one infantry. So we're going to move those back those back <clears throat> all right so again let me chip those out and I'll be right back to do the recap 